Top 14 Foods That Cause Inflammation and Make You Sick When we hear inflammation, we always think it's a bad condition, which is not always true. Inflammation is a natural part of the body's immunological reaction. When it's good, it fends off outside attackers, treats wounds, and cleans up debris in the body. However, when it's bad, it is known as chronic inflammation and can lead to a wide range of diseases, including Alzheimer's, rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. But over time, scientists have discovered that by making a few simple changes to our diet, we can reduce the risk of chronic inflammation and improve our overall quality of life. Therefore, in this video, we'll go over 14 foods that can cause inflammation and a better alternative that will leave you feeling great. If you're ready, let's get to it. Let's start with number one, non-organic corn. Now, don't get us wrong. Ancient corn is a nutritious and delicious grain, but the genetically engineered corn you find in processed foods and not so much. It's often treated with pesticides, including glycophosphate, which can wreak havoc on your gut microbiome and trigger inflammation. And nobody wants achy joints or digestive issues, right? So where can you find this sneaky culprit? In all kinds of things, from baked goods to cereals to breakfast bars, processed meats, and even corn syrup. However, you can still enjoy corn by opting for organic varieties or trying out some tasty substitutes like beans or even peas. Now, too much of anything, especially sweet things, can be bad. Number two, sugar. It's not just about tooth decay. Excessive sugar intake can also cause inflammation and chronic diseases like metabolic syndrome and type two diabetes. Even worse, sugar feeds harmful bacteria and cancer cells, making it harder for your immune system to do its job. And let's not forget that sugar is hiding in all sorts of sneaky places like sweet treats like snacks, desserts, pastries, candies, and sugar-sweetened beverages. You can still satisfy your sweet tooth with healthier sweeteners like honey, agave, blackstrap molasses, and maple syrup. Fresh berries and all-natural dried fruit are also great alternatives to sugar when you're looking for a sweet treat. They are packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants that can provide numerous health benefits. For example, blueberries are high in vitamin C, vitamin K, and fiber, and a great source of antioxidants that can help protect your body from oxidative stress and inflammation. Are you cooking up a storm in the kitchen but not sure if you're using the right oils? Number three, vegetable oils. Some commonly used cooking oils can do a lot more harm than good, especially when it comes to inflammation. Polyunsaturated vegetable oils like grapeseed, cottonseed, safflower, corn, and sunflower oils are often high in omega-6 fatty acids, which can lead to inflammation in the body. According to a study published in the Journal of Lipid Research, a diet high in omega-6 fatty acids can increase the risk of chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and arthritis. There are plenty of healthier alternatives to choose from. Coconut oil, for example, is high in lauric acid, which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. Macadamia oil is rich in monosaturated fats, which have been linked to reduce risk of inflammation-related diseases. Avocado oil is high in oleic acid, a type of monosaturated fat that has been shown to reduce inflammation. And who doesn't love extra virgin olive oil? It's high in polyphenols, which have been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties. So next time you're cooking, Choose your oil wisely. Now, a whole lot of us like to have our food extremely sweet. Well, that's bad. Number four, artificial sweeteners. Sweetness can be a tempting treat, but too much of it can be damaging to your health. Consuming processed sugars and sweeteners in excess can trigger the release of cytokines, which are inflammatory messengers that can cause harm to our body. Research has shown that one particular sweetener, corn syrup, can cause inflammation of the liver and contribute to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. In addition, the excessive intake of sugar has been linked to chronic inflammation, which is associated with a variety of health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. A study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology found that consuming excessive amounts of added sugars can increase the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. It's also important to read labels carefully to look out for sneaky names like corn syrup, fructose, dextrose, golden syrup, sorghum syrup, maltose, 
and sucrose in sweets and processed foods. Instead, try natural sweeteners like honey and dates, which contain beneficial antioxidants and nutrients. Alternatively, low-calorie options like stevia can be used in moderation as a healthier alternative to artificial sweeteners like Splenda. Did you know that, strategically, 60% of the world's population may have trouble digesting milk? Milk can be an allergen for some people, causing a variety of inflammatory responses like stomach issues, skin rashes, and breathing difficulties. Hormones, pesticides, and antibiotics given to cows can also end up in milk, making the situation even worse. You might find the dairy products in obvious places like butter and cheese, but they can also be hidden in unexpected foods like bread, crackers, or even protein powder. But fear not, you can easily substitute dairy with delicious alternatives like coconut milk or homemade nut milk. Swap out butter for coconut oil or try cashews instead of cheese. Your taste buds will thank you. Let's talk about number six, trans fats. These fats have a double negative effect as they raise bad cholesterol levels and lower good cholesterol levels. They also increase inflammation, which can contribute to health problems. The Harvard School of Public Health warned about the dangers of trans fat back in the early 1990s. Saturated fats aren't much better as they can also trigger inflammation in fat tissue, which is an indicator of heart disease and worsens inflammation in conditions like arthritis. You'll find trans fats in deep fried foods, fast foods, baked goods, frozen foods, and margarine. To substitute, Look for products that don't contain trans fat, partially hydrogenated oil, or vegetable shortening. It's always better to assume that commercially prepared foods contain trans fats unless stated otherwise. Oh, you might have to say goodbye to your favorite deli sandwich or hot dog because they aren't so healthy. Number seven. Number seven is processed meat. This refers to meat that has been treated with various preserving methods, such as curing, salting, and smoking. These meats often contain harmful additives such as nitrates, preservatives, soy, and coloring agents, which can make them carcinogenic and toxic. Processed meats can be found in various forms such as ham, hot dogs, sausage, lunch meat, bacon, and salami. To avoid processed meat, consider opting for fresh meat, poultry, and fish, or organic alternatives such as smoked salmon or beef jerky. You are what you eat, and that goes for animals too. Number eight. Non-organic meat. Non-organic meats are derived from animals that are fed grains that are high in inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, which can cause more harm than good. Plus, they're often injected with antibiotics and hormones that can affect your health. Swap out the inflammatory, hormone-laden meats products of poultry, pork, and beef from the feedlot farms and opt for organic, free-range meat from animals that have been nourished on a diet of natural grass and vegetables. Let's talk about the infamous party crasher. Number 9. Alcohol Regularly indulging in alcoholic beverages can cause inflammation and irritation in the esophagus, larynx, and liver. Prolonged exposure to this inflammation may result in tumor growth at the sites. Alcohol can be found in beverages such as beer, cider, liquor, and wine. To avoid this, you might want to consider swapping out those boozy beverages for some thirst-quenching alternatives such as pure filtered water, tea, or freshly squeezed juice. Monosodium glutamate, or MSG, may be a flavor enhancer, but it's definitely not enhancing your health. Number 10. Monosodium glutamate MSG is commonly used as a food additive that enhances the taste of food by adding flavor. It's made from fermented starch, corn sugar, molasses, sugar cane, and sugar beets. However, some people who are sensitive to MSG can experience symptoms such as headaches, facial pressure, numbness, and tingling. Other reactions include flushing, sweating, chest pain, and weakness. You can find MSG in many store-bought Asian foods, as well as in food prepared in Asian restaurants. Even MSG-free restaurants may use this ingredient. To avoid MSG, try natural flavor enhancers like salt, pepper, and spices in your cooking. If you're not sure whether your favorite Chinese restaurant uses MSG, consider cooking Asian food at home. Want to make your diet more diverse and try new things? Why not swap out those boring, refined grains for some exciting, ancient grains that are packed with nutrients and flavor? Number 11. Refined Grains 
I know you love refined grains, but unfortunately they have been stripped of their natural goodness through genetic modification and processing. It's no secret that consuming refined grains can lead to some serious health issues, including allergies and degenerative diseases. But don't worry, there are some awesome substitutes that will have you feeling great. Try some delicious and nutritious ancient grains like quinoa, amaranth, or rye. You can find them at almost any food store as whole grains or prepared flour. Say goodbye to white flour and hello to a healthier, happier you. Now, how about we talk about a mineral that plays a crucial role in regulating the body's fluid balance, muscle function, and nerve transmission. Number 12. Sodium. Unfortunately, many of the processed and restaurant foods we love are loaded with refined salt that has been stripped of its natural benefits and mixed with questionable additives. But hey, there are easy substitutes. Try swapping out iodized salt for all-natural unrefined sea salt or Himalayan salt. And instead of reaching for the salt shaker, experiment with flavorful spices or even herbs to make your food taste delicious. Do you love trying out new foods but sometimes feel a little achy and uncomfortable afterwards? It might be because of gluten. Number 13. Gluten Gluten is a protein that can cause joint pain and triggers an autoimmune response in people with celiac disease. This can damage the small intestine and cause other painful symptoms. But don't worry, there are plenty of gluten-free options available. Try to check the label for wheat, barley, or rye and avoid any products that fall into the 10 categories of inflammatory foods we've discussed today. Remember, just because something is labeled gluten-free doesn't mean it's automatically healthy and won't cause inflammation. What food are you sensitive to? Number 14 will make sure your food is covered properly. It's an elimination diet. Many people have food sensitivities without even realizing it. Unlike food allergies, symptoms of food intolerance can take longer to show up and may be mistaken for minor ailments like headaches or fatigue. However, prolonged exposure to irritating foods can lead to chronic inflammation and disease. Common food allergens include milk, eggs, gluten, nuts, and nightshade vegetables. Surprisingly, you can even develop an allergy to foods you frequently eat. But don't worry, you can substitute these foods with alternatives and monitor your response. If you feel like a particular food is causing intolerance, Try eliminating it from your diet for two weeks and then reintroduce it to see how you feel. You just have to understand how your body works and know what's best for you. So we covered the 14 foods that can lead to inflammation in your body and should be avoided. To combat inflammation, it's important to address the root cause by eliminating inflammatory foods and incorporating anti-inflammatory options such as olive or coconut oil, turmeric, and herbs. Opt for whole, unprocessed foods and stay hydrated while also prioritizing exercise, stress reduction, and getting enough sleep each night. Thank you for being so patient up to this point. It's greatly appreciated. Subscribe and enable alerts to avoid missing out on future videos from us and much more. Check out this video to learn more about how to care for your body and we'll see you in the following video.